All right, so now that the arm is in the right position, we're going to mold this arm, but we don't need the hand. So we're going to cut the hand because that's going to be a whole different project. So let's cut the maybe a little bit up from the wrist. I'm getting some string here. That will give you a, a nice clean cut. There we go. Okay, so again, since I can't sculpt human anatomy, which sucks, uh, we're going to open up these fingers so we can mold a hand holding the staff. So let's see if I can make this happen. Get the thumb out of there. Alright, let's get a little stick or something and we'll make this thing work. I hope. Alright, so let's get this guy and... What the heck? later and now we gotta fix these guys up all right so here he is holding the uh, stick here which is a good thing he has gloves on because to make fingernails man I I'm not good at that stuff so this looks like it will work uh, we're making him bigger than what the picture has there because those little sticks look like little wimpy things these will be nice and you know normal size I guess Bruce Lee style I guess you could say all right, so now let's get to the other hand. But what I will be doing is cutting this probably down to here. So I'll be cutting it here. That way you have a, a gap in here. It will be it will be molded with this here, the bottom part. Then you can just get the other piece of the uh, stick and stick it in. So it won't be the whole stick molded, just part of it. All right. Alright, so what I just did is I got the Dremel with a very fine uh, grinding tip. And I just carved in the uh, lines a lot deeper than where what they should be. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually just primer this just so I can actually see more detail where I would need to... Uh, um, sand it down more and I can see the flaws once I primer this up this area here so let's get that going alright so now by doing so now I can uh, you know see where I need to sand a little bit more and of course these are way too deep so I'm gonna go over with that with some putty and and smooth that out and then add the line in there uh, in this area uh, so see some flaws around here so that's cool and all right so let this let this dry and uh, we'll start working on it all right so what we're going to do now is use the uh, uh, white putty model model for you know like they use for models and um, just get it and since these are way too deep we don't want them that deep so we just want to kind of, you know, fill them up a bit. And we get some 99% alcohol and start smoothing some of this stuff out. But kind of pushing with my fingers so we can still have a line. And we'll go back and sand this down. Okay, so I cut his uh, right hand off. Uh, 
Got them in here. I'm going to make a mold so we can make that one also in clay. On the past and the other videos, you've seen that I've used the uh, uh, other urethane rubber, uh, which is the Brush On 50. Um, but this time I want to try something new, which is Mold Star 16 Fast. Apparently, it dries in uh, one hour or so. So we will see. And um, that would be cool because that way I can pour in the clay in there a lot quicker than waiting for the other stuff to, to uh, you know, cure. So here it is, equal amounts, same thing. Um, so let's get that going. Mixing it up really good. Start pouring it from high distance so we can avoid a lot of air bubbles. And again, it doesn't matter because we're going to use the, the clay casting so we can always fix that. Alright, so we'll come back in an hour and see how it goes. Alright, so we're going to mold this hand. Uh, you all know the process. Uh, same way I did the other one. Uh, put a little cup over it, fill it up with silicone, and uh, then just, you know, uh, make a mold of it. Alright, so what I did here is I cut the head off because, if you remember, it was actually about that high. Uh, so it was kind of awkward. So, we're not going to put it all the way down here because that might not be so good so we're gonna do it uh, maybe around like that or something so that way you won't look like a giraffe neck so let's get some glue and some putty on there sorry for the noise out there some gardener decided to blow the leaves on 4th of July the heck All right, now we're going to sand down this a little bit and then we'll redo that part again. <laughs> 